We are making a beautiful card for the Easter season. And we have our design with three crosses. And then you can open up, you can write a message inside if you want to. So um, Jesus was nailed to the cross and then on either side of him, um, criminals were uh, also uh, crucified. So <clears throat> that's the significance of the other two crosses. So we're gonna fold a piece of paper in half. I'm using a piece of nice drying paper. It's a little bit thicker than what you would use for printer paper. And it's about 80 pounds. Um, the paper has different pound weights. So what you do is you take some tape and you stick it down on your paper in the shape of a cross. But before you stick it down, you kind of want to get some of that stickiness off. So you can use like your hand or your skin, or you can even use like your clothing to get some of that stickiness out. So you want it to be able to stick, but you also don't want it to, uh, you know, completely come off. And then if you want it so that um, the edges are real straight across, you can just trim it with scissors. So I'm just trying to get that stickiness off there. bit higher and trim this one a little bit more okay and then the other one is shorter a little bit smaller Right, I just wanted these sides a little bit shorter here on this one. Just a touch longer there. <laughs> shorter and then a little longer. Okay, so after we get our crosses um, in a way that we like, then I'm going to use just a set of watercolor paints. You can usually get these like um, at Walmart or Target, especially during back to school. They usually have nice deals on these. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of water on my brush. I only need a little bit. I move my brush along the inside of the cup to get the extra water off. And I started at the bottom with brown. So this is a pretty, this comes out pretty light usually and just real gently and then I can paint right across and right on top of my tape. Now this one's starting to peel up a little bit so maybe I'll just press that down 
while I paint around it. Because I don't want the paint to get underneath in those parts. I just want it to be up to the tape line. So you might be able to tell that um, in my original one, the paper started peeling away a little bit when I pulled off the tape. So I guess I didn't get enough of the stickiness off of the tape. But it still has kind of like a soft effect along with the um, watercolor paints. So I really didn't mind it so much. Okay, so this is sort of like our ground line. Clean out my brush before I switch colors. And then I used some blue. Now, if you want, you can be real careful where your colors uh, meet up and blend, or you can just use wet paint next to wet paint and just sort of let them naturally kind of blend together and bleed together. See where this, you know, brown is kind of leaking into the blue. It also is kind of a pretty effect. I was just grabbing yellow, but I realized that this is actually orange. My next color it looks very yellowish um, <clears throat> on my original there. And it is coming out pretty yellowish in here as well. And then my top color, I guess I use some red. Okay, and then I dried off my um, crosses before I pulled off the tape. So I just use a little napkin. Um, if, you know, otherwise you could just wait, you know, let it, your paint dry a little bit more. But for the purposes of the video, we'll just dab that off, a little extra, and then we'll peel off the tape. And again, if you don't want the um, the paint sort of bleeding into these areas at all, where your crosses are, you might want to wait a little bit longer. Let the paint dry. It'll dry quickly, probably, I would think, in about five minutes or so. So a good project to do during Holy Week. All right, 
And there we go. So I hope yours turns out just wonderfully for you. God bless you.